Hello guys, welcome back to um, um, in a very awkward position than last time. Last time um, we got through this cutscene where the ancient minister was actually just Rob in disguise and he's uh, rebelling against Garrett's order. So um, yeah, we're in the middle of a level right now, so we gotta complete this level up right now. But anyway, um, we have the most awesome person and is also my third main of the game. Go figure. I have all my mains now, so I'm pretty much be killing everyone now. Hopefully, I say um. So um, yeah, Rob. Rob is. I, I remember the reception Rob got when he was first announced for Rob, and people were like saying he's like a waste of time, and he was like a stupid placement, just like how people are saying the Wii Fit Trainer in the new Brawl is going to be stupid as heck, and yeah, and how well, the old villagers like okay, and like everyone's like, oh, Mega Man should have been, you know, in, a, in the er, game beforehand, so it's like, really guys? Seriously, give me a chance, you're, you're probably like really awesome people in the end, I mean seriously. Wow, of course, um... Looks like someone here is a Rob hater. And I probably should grab that mushroom. Oh, that was not a great deal. Hammer, 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 hammer. I really should use items more to be honest, because I mean the game gives you it, so well then you can't use that on them because they reflect items, which is really stupid, I tell you. And yeah, those sword guys, they actually reflect your projectiles, which is really stupid. Stupid. So, yeah, go figure. Oh, hey, look, I'm using a sword against go figure. Yeah, that's pretty ironic, to say the least. So, yeah, this is a pretty much another big skirmish. It's probably one of the harder skirmishes in the game because it's, it's the longest skirmish in the game. Yeah, go figure. It is the longest skirmish in the game. So, yeah, it is pretty annoying to say the least. Especially these stupid flow guys where they pretty much absorb, no, oh, they recover HP all the time, so it gets, so all the damage you did to them, nope, it's all going to be reversed in a couple matter of seconds, and I lost my sword grade. And we have a camper on the loose. Yeah, this is, yeah, to be honest, this is like one of the harder skirmishes in the game to not die on, pathetically, because it just is, so, yeah. Oh, I need perfect shield them. So yeah, we're almost done. We have two more things left to take care of. Two arm tanks, people. On us. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty big challenge. Well, to live in general and to beat them because of well, the fact that since there's two of them, we have to take care of two of these stupid things and that are tank us at the same time. So yeah, it's a pretty jerkish move, to be honest. And wow, I'm getting smushed to smithereens. Wow, that actually worked in my favor. Okay, seriously, this is like not fair. I was like right in the middle of the, and like no chance to escape at all. Unless I get hit by the stupid recoil of all the moves. Seriously, that's just that's just me. I tell you. Oh come on, he was almost dead. For crying out loud. Just hurry up and die already. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Ah. Oh. <sighs> I was so close to finishing that skirmish and I died, of course. Of course, that is like the worst you can do. We're about to almost get skirmish and nope, you have to redo the whole entire thing over again. Hurt, 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 hurt. Oh god dang. I seriously hate that skirmish so much. You know, I hate it so much. I probably shouldn't just cut out the other attempt that I did because the one that I showed for no real reason. Because honestly, since I just died there, and there's really no point in showing another skirmish. It's just annoying, I tell you. I'm see, I'm like raging like that. DK right there. It's on like Donkey Kong. So um, I don't really get what happened in this scene. I mean, like, is Rob like trying to communicate them with like blue eye, like blue eyes? Wait, I know. Rob secretly is a Windows merchandise, so he's trying to use the blue screen on him to blue screen him. It all makes sense now. Rob, the blue screens don't work. They're Max instead. They don't get blue screens. Um. But anyway, um, yeah, Captain Falcon decided to do something, so we're chasing him. So, yeah, um, and wh wh what is Olimar doing? Just look at him. What does he do? What does he do? I never know. Oh, Omar looks so ridiculous. Uh, whatever. Uh, we didn't give DK to shine, and uh, we didn't give Sam to shine either, so let's uh, use the first part. So, this part is pretty much just um, an escape scroll down sequence, so yeah. Um, there are secret stuff in this area, so you have to be on your toes in this area. 
so I pretty much just ig ignore everything and only attack if they're getting annoying like such. Because there are parts where you're going to be trapped in here and it's going to be a pain to get through. So yeah. So you have to be fast on their toes, especially in intense mode. In intense mode, they put no brakes on you in this area whatsoever. And it's not helpful that these primates, they get unlimited HP and spawn, so it gets super annoying how they don't get affected by the stupid, what you call it, the spikes. Ugh. But it's actually even worse. They decided to use the hovering platforms to your death situation here, so best just to stay on one side and just hover your way down, let Rob and just enter the door like that. See? Rob knows how to deal with something. This part is the same, except this time your mind's trying to attack you, so uh, I think you need to stay on this side just to be safe from everywhere. For the most part, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Cheaping out the system like usual. So, um, in this part, you have to be very careful because there is a secret around here. And if you screw it up, you screw it up. Okay, just let me through. No, let me through. Let me through. Say, just. Okay, fine. You want to slow me? Ah, uh, come on. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Alright, quick. Quick. Spawn in. Did I grab it? Um. Um. Yoo-hoo. Um, did I grab it? Okay, I cannot tell if I grabbed it or not. Um. Okay, you won't forget it. I'm just gonna. Boom. I think I grabbed it. I'm. I'm really sure I grabbed it. If I didn't grab it, I'm gonna flip my shell out. Seriously. Again, that is like mean and rude. Seriously. I'll help. See, that's what I told you. That area sucks, I tell you, for getting all the secrets. Because, like, if you screw up once, you have to do the whole entire level over again. Which means getting past the skirmish area and whatnot. Urgh. Just sucks, it just sucks. But anyway, I'm Captain Falcon, called as Trusty, I'm Falcon Machine, so we're off to an adventure, I guess, so. What time is it? It's Captain Falcon time! Oh, hey, look, it's Mel Ridley. That made an unexpected appearance here, so yeah, go figure. Um, so yeah, we have to fight Mel Ridley, but this battle is actually kind of unique. Why is it unique? Because um, there's actually a time limit. It's a two-minute brawl fest, so if you can beat Ridley in less than two minutes, well, you're golden. If you beat more than two minutes, I think you get automatic in a game over or something. Because um, because I don't know what happens. You run out of energy or something? I don't know. I really don't understand the time limit. I mean, yeah, I mean. I guess the the socially bombed mean is something, but seriously though, we're speeding along. We can just live with that. We can just we can still live even though there's a socially bomb. I mean, heck, is it just for challenge sake? Because honestly, being metal really in two less than two minutes isn't really that hard to be honest. Unless it's your first time playing through. Well, I got killed. No figure. Um, but anyway, as for the boss itself, metal really is actually one of the harder bosses. Well. Bosses in terms of hardness as in randomness, but and but if you know like, all the moves and patterns, it shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Just remember that it's best to jump every time you attack him. Well, every time he does something so you can avoid him because if you jump, you're pretty much gonna avoid most of his attacks. And like that one, now when he suddenly doesn't on the ground, so you gotta watch out for a flying up pattern, otherwise right? you're gonna get definitely screwed. And we be in the Yay! Also, Metal really is really one of the hardest to get a trophy because he flies over mid because if you don't, he's still going to fall down there, down there, and you're going to fail miserably, so yeah. There's that. So yeah, we just barely escaped the humongous stuff these emissary bomb. And would, would, I, would you believe if I tell you that we're almost done with this game? No? Well, you're kind of right, because there's that one level left that takes forever, so yeah. So anyway, this cutscene is pretty much all the brawlers meeting up somehow. So, it's pretty cool, although I'm, yeah, it's pretty cool actually, because everyone's like meeting up and then like, in a cutscene that's not going to be shown, they're all going to be like, this one, hey guys, I heard, uh, we have to beat some people, you know, we have to, um, work together for stuff, you know, and, oh great, I from even if we dig completely, we can't go back there, so, meh, 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 I say meh. But anyway, um, it's six minutes into the video because I kind of had to, um, what you might call it, um, cut, cut the last level into two parts because I took forever and all that stuff. So, um, anyway, um, 
this part has a very long cutscene before and I'm pretty sure I can finish the level within this time period so um yeah let's just head on to this level and I just remember to add raw I'll, I'll do that um, in a little bit I'll do it like after um, this video is over so um, yeah anyway here's the level let's entrance to the next levels so yeah um, basically um, somehow some way Gandor managed to turn the island to um, a human let's say bomber um, some say emissary area because he wants to what you call it? He have this humongous looking cannon and so you can just I'm a fire in my laser everywhere. I really don't see the point of that laser because he just aimed it randomly and just sucked that space into it somehow. So yeah, um this looks very um Star Wars ish just unfortunately. So yeah, this has a Star Wars vibe except you have a anthropomorphic um turtle and a, a guy that looks threatening somehow. Oh, here's the Halibur. I'm pretty sure something, not, something bad's not gonna happen to it like in all Kirby games. Right? Right? Uh, unfortunately, yeah, something bad's gonna happen to it. You'll see, though. Oh, well, yeah. You know what they say? What, man, I. Use the boots to get through! Do a barrel roll! You're not doing a barrel roll! See, see, see what could happen? You didn't do a barrel, you didn't do a boost to get through. You, you, you pretty much just were asking for it, seriously. Oh, rip. Halibur. Number. Something that was over. But uh, apparently we were using the Albert as like a diversion so we can enter it more and have more mini ships entering this thing of Albert. And I have no idea how we're avoiding all these things, like seriously. I mean seriously, look how many of those lasers, I mean, it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's like that really hard game on Galactic. Oh hey, there's Curry right there, of course, you know, since it's soccer, right, he kind of has to be Curry after good roll. And again, and you know. Yeah, I, I'm not mad because it's Kirby, you know, Kirby is at the bee's knee as usual, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, it's Soccer Rice doing, making Kirby do the final blow, but hey, if we are if we're a Link, if we was, you know, a Link game, we'll have Link ride the Dragoon, or, you know, you know, um, if it was, um, um, Miyamoto, it's probably like, Olimar doing it for some god reason, oh, hey, there's Olimar, of course, he's always the last one in, poor Olimar, seriously, his ship is so awesome, but it's so weird at the same time. So here we have a very um jaw-dropping group portrait for most of the people. I mean, we're missing help of people, but hey, it's most of them. So yeah, in this game, watching them back, just doing whatever we want. And look, we actually have selection to do the whole entire roster, so I can actually choose people I like use the most. Now, hooray! We have one wild card. Um, hmm, who wants to get a spotlight in this epic duo family? Um, uh, hmm. Very interesting. I mean, let's do G and W because G and W didn't get much love in the other parts, and we just unlocked them. So, yay, G and W. Game Watch is actually a very good person. Actually, surprising. He and Kirby got like the best um, what you call it, um, rebuffs. I mean, I mean, he Kirby got the worst nerf in melee, but he got like a semi good um buff in this game. Same thing Game Watch. Game Watch have had a pretty tough in uh, melee, but he's he he's a little better now in this game because well. All this cheap techniques like bucket breaking and whatnot. Oh, and yeah, this is a side score, so it's pretty pointless to be all the enemies unless you just want to get them out of your way, which is pretty necessary half time. Oh, sorry for here, yeah, forget it. This one's actually a lot easier to get that stupid thing. The one in the stupid the thing, don't dark, dark, green, which sucks all your life away, your life and your soul. Oh, we have a skirmish area coming up, but this, wait, is this it? No, it's just a stupid area where you're just gonna lose all your lives in a matter of seconds. Never mind, forget I said anything. Thankfully though, since I am powered up with sticker power, get it, sticker power, Mar Pico Mario, sticker power, eh, 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 whatever, either way. So I'm pretty much uberly strong now, and hopefully those stupid null primitives do not do those Falcon punch moves like they do all the time, which is really cheap. So I'm just gonna be do my old strategy, I use my olden days to take care of this boss, and I almost. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. The, these guys really do know how to team up on you, seriously. Yeah, you're just gonna chill, really walk away. Yeah, um, I highly recommend getting rid of the male privilege first because that's like the worst person in this area. So, yeah, um, I think if you die in this area too, you have to start the whole entire room over again. And it's a pretty big room, so, um, yeah. Try not to die unless it's an intentional where it's pretty much an. It's always a guarantee that you are going to die, so go figure. Dying is always an option in intense mode. You can never escape it. You know what? Intense mode in Brawl should be a meme, in fact. It's like, oh, you want oh, you wanna um, re 
Um, I got a thing. I can't think of anything for attention on me, but I'll think of something on the next part. But we have a very long winded section, and we have a stupid. No, I wanted to beat him before he landed on the floor, really, because there's gonna be another one of these guys. Hello. Oh, Thanks for Pikachu, so I actually know how to beat this guy for real. Oh my cat dog, I'm gonna have so much trouble with this dude, even though this guy pretty much makes everyone angry to tell you. Oh, great, we have a creeper. Thankfully, it's only one. Oh, shoot! It's two! Oh god, three of them. Okay, that's just unfair. He, he only charged like for two seconds. And then he got the... The finishing blow. Seriously, that's just unfair. Nah, I'd say nah. Oh, well, I actually beat them relatively easy compared to other times I went through this area. I think there's one more area. Oh, yep, go figure. Yep, go figure. There's one more area and oh great I died already um this isn't good because this is this is the last section here right here and oh look at breaking for the win now I shall use the, the big slime dude as a divergence to kill everyone no no I'm not dying here new no. game watch refuses to die here oh god oh god oh god oh god oh man oh god oh man oh Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man! Oh, I think we already finished already. Hooray! I mean, we're mini, so yeah. We're mini, and we have a lot of health, I mean, a lot of damage being on our side. That's just wonderful. So, anyway, we're gonna use the power of surface detection to go our way through and end the level. Really, that's the level. Yeah. You know, we have a pretty, uh, clear cutscene right here, so yeah. And you thought Peach was a backstabber. Boy, why did I say Peach? I don't know, Peach is pretty mean, so, so yeah. So yeah, um, Ganor pretty much betrayed Bowser for god who knows why. I mean, I, should, I really don't understand Ganor's motives. Oh, this one's pretty interesting. We have Master Knight be controlled by some other being. Oh look, I'm pretty sure that's not the final boss of this whole entire game. I mean, no way it can't be. I mean, seriously, you know. Ganor punch! Um... Yeah, I don't know if the punch does not work like that. Seriously, you can't punch people like that. You gotta have a fiery fist. Oh my god. Is that blood I see in the Nintendo game? Yes. Yeah, actually, to be perfectly honest, actually is blood. Go figure. A cartoony character has blood. So, yeah. Unfortunately, no, we don't see Crazy Hand. We only see Master Hand. So, yeah, he got owned pretty badly. Speaking of being owned. Look what's gonna happen! He turned into a butterfly! I bet he's gonna use Psy Wave. Oh, that was unintentional pun. Because that literally is a Psy Wave. So um, basically, um, that guy had the power to pretty much be God on us and just say, Nope! You can't do anything! You can just stay like that! So yeah, basically we're all screwed now. Game ends. Yay! And, oh, I'm pretty sure he, Oh, well, no, that's, that joke's over. Um, yeah, he's forming probably one of the worst levels in history. Yeah. But don't worry, I'm going to do something fun for that level! Hooray! Hopefully it'll be fun. I'm hoping it'll be, actually. Although, we won't, we won't be seeing that level for a long time anyway, so, yeah. No figure, but hey, we're almost on, we're on like three-fourths of the game. Yay! But anyway, I'm gonna do from this this part, and yeah, if you can't tell, we can't really do anything because well, we lost everyone, so we only have one level to select. So yeah, so go figure. And look, if we even do save, it's gonna give us the ominous message that we have no one in our party because everyone died. Yeah, that is kind of ominous actually. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next part where we only have one option to do, and that's A. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.